Hello and welcome to Wise Link Academy. Today we want to draw that isometric we are seeing at the right corner of the screen. Um, let's start and let's see what we want to be having for today. I will take my um, take um, this square this way. I will draw horizontal line. Right. I will take my inclined to go this way. Right. I will take it this way. Right. Let me extend this way. Let me extend it. Yes. Yes. My length. It's given to be 75, as you can see that I'm indicating. 75. So from this point here to this point, it's 75. Right? Next up, the breadth is going to be 50, as you can see at the right corner of the square. 50, here is 50. Right? So next up, I will put, project all those points upward. This way. Upward. Right? Come to, come to this point here. Upward. Right? Come to this point here. Take it. Upward. Right? My height is going to be 15. Yes, 15. So I measure 15 at this point. From this point here to this point is 15. So therefore, I will take it to form a what? A, a box. To form a box. Take it this way. Right, take it this way. Next up, I will take it this way. The faint line, faint line, please. And uh, take it this way. Faint line. I'll be having this. But what do you observe? At this part, I don't know where that cylinder will fall. So I can just erase that part. Let me erase what is on the line. And it is this unwanted line and this one. So as you should know where that cylinder will be. Right. So I'll be having this. Right? Now, if I work on this, I observe that all these are taking that in them. Take this way. Take this part. Taking this part. Taking this part here. Taking this part, taking this part, right? Take it here, taking this part, and then um, taking this part. I'm having what you are saying at the right corner of the screen, right? Let's stop. I'm going to measure from this point here, that point you are saying, to this point here is 25. So I'm measuring 25. Right? 25. 25 is here, right? Next up, from here, 25 to 25 at this point. So I'm having those two points. The data of my T square and my set square, I just have to show that I project this this way. Then I want I project this this way. They are falling at the same time, right? Now, we want to establish that cylinder you are seeing at the right corner of the screen. That cylinder has an height of 50 and a diameter of what? 40. The concept is, whenever you see diameter, half of that value will be your radius. So half of 40 is 20. So I will kindly measure 20 on my meter rule this way. 20 from this point here to this point is 20, right? I'll put it here. Let an add here, an add here, an add here, an add here. So, after striking the axe, those points where they meet that line, they have drawn. Those points between them are this, right? So, with the help of my set square, I'll take it this way. I will draw this line, faint, faint, right? Come to the other point here. Draw this line, faint. My aim is to what? Produce out a square. Now, join this to this. Right? Then finally join this to this. 
So I should actually what drawn out this square. Now let's talk. What I want to do here now is that the longest part of this square, the eggs of the longest part, I join them together. This is an edge, an edge, an edge here, an edge here. The longest part is from here to here. This is shorter, so this is longer. I will take my entire row and we join that point to the other point so that it will pass through the center line as a concept. So we pass through the center line. Let's talk. I will join this edge here to this edge you are seeing here. And I will join this edge here to this edge you are seeing at this point. So in this case, I will take my my compass at this point, right? I will get it to this point here. Right? So I will draw this this way. Right? I got another point here. So I will draw that where I that down. That point. So must touch that point. Start that point. Yes, this point this way. Right? Then you come to this edge here. Yes, this edge. You extend it this way. To this point. To this point. You can see? To this point here. Right? So let's talk. So that's what you've done this. The next thing I will do is what? You see this edge? One, two, three, four. I'll take them upward. So take this point upward. Right? Take this point upward. Right? Take this point upward. And take this point upward. Right? Now, after I've done that, the cylinder has an height of 50. I'll come to this place. Well, let me just choose this place. Let me choose this point here. From here to somewhere here is 50. I use my 50, right? So I'll take my set square this way. I'll take that to my T square. And we form this, this way. Right? The front line, please. At that point, take it this way. Right? Take it this way. Let's form a box. Right? So I'm having this. Right? Next thing now to form to do is what? You see this point here? This point here and this. I'll take them upward. Okay, let, let's take the center point upward first. Now, I knew that I'll take this point upward. This one. This one upward here. Right? And I'll take this point here upward. So I will take I will turn them to form a to have a center line. So to have a center line. So here is my center line where they meet. Right? Similarly, what I did to the other one, I joined the longest part together. And we joined the longest part together. This way. Right? So let's stop from this point, from this edge here to this point, and from this edge here to this point. So I haven't done this. Next up, I will take my um compass this way this edge here this edge I'm connected take it this way come to the other point here at this edge here to this edge connected you can see let's stop come to this edge here extend it so, um, make sure they are connecting make sure they are connected right this way you can see that come to this edge point here 
son petite dame sur ce petit dame de suite. I'll be having this. So next up, I will take my T square to draw this upward, right? Take my T square to draw this upward, right? I'll be having this. Similarly, I will take my Z square to take in this part, cover it up, and the other part here. Right so we have successfully replicated what is at the right corner of the screen to be this. If you found this video helpful, kindly click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to Wise Link Academy.